Okay, first thing to do is split it. And we're going to split it into a bunch of fractions. Let me get the pen out again. So we have um, one linear factor x plus 1 plus, and we have um, the linear factor x plus 2, but it occurs um, as two factors. So I'll put down x plus 2 squared. And these are all linear factors. So I'll put a, b, and c down. What I do now is multiply both sides by the LCD, and you're going to get 2x plus 1 equals a. Well, let's see. You'd get x plus 2 squared then, plus you would get b, x plus 1, times x plus 2, and then you would get c times x plus 1. Now, you're going to pick some easy values for x to get the a, b, and the c. And the easiest value, I think, to choose would be x equals minus 1. What would that give you? That would give you, let's see, minus 1 on the left side. And on the right side, uh, the b and the c terms would disappear, and you'd be left off with just a. So now I know a is minus 1, and this is important. All right, that's a really important fact at this point. Let me do another one. And the other one I would probably do is I'd probably set x to be, let's see, x to be what? I would say minus 2. And what would you get there? Well, if you did that, you get something pretty simple, too. What do you get? Let's see. You would get minus 4 plus 1, which is minus 3, equals, uh, let's see, uh, the first term that involves the A would disappear. The second term involving B would disappear. But then you would get C, and that would be minus 2 plus 1, which is minus 1, so minus C. So that means C is equal to 3. I'll put a box in that. All right, I'll just hit that in too. There's one left to do, and that's to get the B. And to get the B, I'm going to set X to be 0. And let's see what that gives us. Well, that would give us 1 on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, let's see if it's 0, you would get 4A. But A is minus 1, so you get minus 4. Okay, let's go look at the B now. And again, if it's 0, what do I get? 0 times 2, I'm sorry, 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 2 is 2, so it's going to be 2B. And then you're going to get C, right? That's 3 times 1, which is plus 3. Well, a little more complicated, isn't it? And we're going to get 1 equals 2B minus 1. And, you know, add 1 to both sides, you get 2 equals 2B, so B would equal 1. And what do I do now? I just plop it in. So let's get an eraser out and start putting this down. You know what, I should highlight this first. So let's take a look. And my, my eraser out, what's the A? The A was minus one, so I'll erase this, and I'll put minus one here. What was the B? The B is one, so I'll erase this, and I'll put a one down. And what was the C? The C was three. Okay, I can put a box in that indicating that's my answer. Let's check the key, see how we did, all right? Let's see if we got that part. So I got this, this looks good. I got this, this looks good, and I got this looks good. The only thing I want to point out is I, I wrote it a little differently. I don't like the way the first term is written down, by the way. So I put in the end, I just simply say minus 1 over x plus 1. That's the only difference, by the way. There's no other difference in the problem. Thank you for paying attention.